Oh, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning. Derek Lynn here with Praying for America and time spent with the word. Spirit of the living God, I thank you for your loving kindness. I thank you, Father God, for your tender mercies. I give thanks unto the Lord for he is good, for his mercy and do it forever. Spirit of truth, as we pray for America on today, as we stand in agreement from across the continents, oh God, of the entire earth, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for America. We pray for the nations of the world, Father God. We pray for the people of Russia, the people, oh God, of Germany, the people, Father God. Mm -hmm of Italy, Spain, Father God. We pray, Lord God, for the people of South Africa, Liberia, Nigeria, Ghana, Father God. We pray, Father God, for our brothers and sisters, God, all over the continent, Father God, in China, Vietnam, Father God, the Middle East, Father God, the Philippines, Father God, in Jordan, Father God, in Bahrain, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Kuwait, Father God, because there are saints across the globe, Father God, some having, oh God, to be persecuted for the gospel of Jesus. Christ. So, Father God, we pray, Father God, on today for all of those, God, who are standing in agreement, even as we pray over America on today, because, God, we believe in the power of prayer. We pray for the brothers and sisters, the warriors right here in these United States, right across our border in Canada and Mexico, Father God. Holy Spirit of the living God, I'm asking that you will breathe afresh upon us all in Jesus Christ's name. I'm asking for a refreshing today. Amen. Mm-hmm. And I feel that so strongly in my spirit. So I'm just going to ask, Father God, refresh us. We need a refilling. We need a refreshing. Refresh us, Father God, in your glory. In Jesus' name on today, amen. The book of John, chapter number four, uh, verse number 10, the Bible reads, Jesus replied, if you only knew the gift of God, Excuse me. If you only knew the gift God has for you, that's it. If you only knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to, you will ask me and I would give you living water. Let me read that again. Jesus replied, if you only knew the gift God has for you, if you only knew the gift God has for you, Father God, the gift that you have for me, the gift that you have for us all, we are asking that you would give us that gift, Father God, on today, in Jesus' name, holding nothing back, and who you are speaking to, you would ask me, Jesus is speaking, my God, mm to the woman at the well. And he is saying, if he only knew who it is that you were speaking to, you would ask me, Father God, you said in your word, ask, and it shall be given. So we come asking on today. And what else does it say? And I would give you living water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no water like the water that the Lord Jesus Christ gives us because he says, out of our bellies, out of our spirits will flow rivers of living water. He said in Psalms 1 that we are like trees planted by the rivers of water. We will be like trees planted by the rivers of living water. We will bring fruit in every season. Water brings nourishment. Water brings hydration. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for America today. And I'm asking you, Father God, to fill us up. Fill us up with the living water that only you can give. Father God, may the angels of the Lord come and trouble the waters all around us, Lord God. In the mighty name name of Jesus. And may the sick step in and be healed. May the depressed step in and be free. May the downtrodden step in, Father God, and be set free. Father God, may those who are strong on drugs, alcohol right now, step in and be set free. Hallelujah. May the child blessed of the pornographers, Father God, step in and be free on today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God. Mm -hmm. May the marriages heading down the path of destruction. May the marriages, God, that are contemplating divorce, Father God. May these marriages step into the waters that the angels are troubling right now and be set free, healed, and made everywhere hold and restored, Father God. I pray for marriages on today. I pray, God, that you will help the husbands and the wives, that you will restore marriages, Father God, right now. And those contemplating, oh God, getting a divorce right now, God, I stand against that because you said in your word, what God 
God has joined together, let no man put asunder. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ on today. God, I believe this so strongly. So I'm asking that your living water will be poured out, that you will refresh us for we are thirsty. We come thirsty, God, and we ask you to fill us up to the overflowing, Father God, of your glory. In Jesus Christ's name, America needs a drink from the living water. Give our White House a drink from the living water. <laughs> Give America's media a drink from the living water. Oh, God, give America's church. Hallelujah. A drink from the rivers of living water unto that. Give us, oh God, a drink from the living water that only comes from you. That we would drink and never be thirsty again. Fill us up. And send us out. I hear this song. Here's my cup, love. Fill it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsting within. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. In Jesus' name, but I will always desire more of you. In Jesus Christ's name, we bless this land. And our Supreme Court shall receive a refilling today. And Lord God, our Capitol building shall receive a refilling today. And we, the people of these United States who believe in God, and we say we are one nation under God, and in God we trust, fill us up, hallelujah, and refresh us in your presence. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. I felt that, hallelujah, and I received that in Jesus' name. Well, the Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. Put on the armor of God. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and by his grace. Until the next time. Shalom.